Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are making a run on down Memorial Day weekend. So we will keep it probably to a shorter video today. But we are going to make a run out to the oil field if we can get all this intact or I guess working appropriately <laughs> we will uh, try to run some pipe now that we uh, have filled back up the pipe we'll try to get some pipe out there to the oil field and because uh, that's sitting at a zero so trying to get some stock that was all sitting on zero off of zeros and uh, fill in out here need to keep some industries turning over and you know get things filled up I have this lofty goal of trying to fill every industry though I don't actually see that happening because I started thinking about all the loads and uh, that would actually take and that's probably not gonna happen shoot I probably should have left that running slightly I didn't mean to turn it all the way off Oh well. Flip that one before we derail. Love to say I never did that before, but uh, that one's bit me for more than one occasion, I guess, where you turn around and uh, sling the train. You get onto that and forget that it's going back to the uh, line and that's the problem with turnarounds. I, that's why I tried to avoid them for a really long time. Ended up using a few. You know. You do what you can. Sometimes you just uh, change the plan on the fly when you're putting in the track, I guess. Up here, I just uh, it just kind of worked out. And I could definitely get away without having it there, but it... Um, it just kind of keeps this all pretty simple in here. There we go. Well, we should be good to good to go down. I think we have one more um, switch that'll have to get flipped, but that's pretty much out at the um, oil field because we have the uh, we have the oil train we brought out there parked out at the oil field so been in the process of running those oil loads barrels are almost full again so um, that's been doing okay wood we ran another set gotta get those dropped we jam stuff up up here and just kind of park it and then unload it when we need it and then run and grab another load and leave the rest sit here until we need it it's kind of nice having um, extra just sitting there when you're ready though I'm not sure that probably takes it makes it uh, take a little longer when you load in and stuff because I'm sure it's just more stuff for the game to have to load in but I don't know I used to think it had an effect on things I guess I don't really notice much um, from the start to the finish I, um, some people have talked to me about like their load in times and I guess I haven't experienced much of a difference between you know, it definitely was a little faster when I started with nothing out, but I mean, I don't think my loading time hasn't really increased all that much, and I have like a ton of silly extra amounts of, you know, locomotives, I think. Though it probably doesn't make much of a difference to the game whether it's a locomotive or rolling stock, it's just more it's got to load in, so I don't know. I don't know, um, you know. I don't know what determines performance issues with this game or not. I know, I know some people have them, some people don't. 
kind of seems like the luck of the draw on your download or something. I don't know. I thankfully uh, can say I've never had a lot of problems, so. I guess I haven't had to look into too, too many solutions. Thankfully, I do have to solve a problem with this, but that's a problem for, you know, another day and another track. It's that one corner, but eventually it'll get there. Figure I'm gonna kind of fill in what's out here and then start back filling in um, out there. Smelter and all that'll be next, but then I want to redo that um, track coming out of the smelter. I want to put in a bypass out there. Just gotta work out exactly how I want to improve all that stuff before. I don't want to just rip up what I know works. For a not great idea so I'm gonna come up to something then I'll change something luckily we were able to pull off pretty much the whole setup without like you know I've seen some people do some pretty cool bridge work and that's that's something but I tried to keep it all fairly you know what I thought was restricted to what they may do in most cases. And I got away without, you know, having any need to go anything super, super crazy. Though I can see the appeal to uh, trying to do some of those big bridges and they look cool as heck. So maybe we'll try to do some shortcuts or something with some bridges and see what happens. I'm not exactly sure kind of wishy-washy back and forth with relay it like this or try something different like this or da 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 da, da. so until I make a decision there I'm not really I guess um, jumping to do a heck of a lot kicking around the idea of doing some um, maybe a new play with uh, set up really multiplayer running um, and see how that goes Uh, starting to form new plans for different things but where everything works in here I'm not in a big hurry to change too too much I guess I always do that when I load these like I get ahead with one and I kind of forget because I just start like I don't know I guess I space off watching the, the crane sometimes and then I'll run one twice and not have run the other one in between and you're like ah. throws off the load count alright done and done This one's kind of nice where it's just, you know, three cars. But it pretty much does a full load, you know. You can't really, you can only hold 30 out there in the oil field anyway. And you can only pull three of these up to the dock up there at the, um, at the refinery. You can only get three at the dock, and it's the oil field. You can only drop 30, so it's like, you know, three cars pretty much covers uh, steel, which is, you know, kind of nice. Not that it's a super high-paying load, but then, to be honest, at this point, it's not like, you know, money isn't our big our big target. It's more about just doing what we do. Don't really have a need for super amounts of money at this point. I mean, we know that's going to change, obviously, when the um, tech tree comes out for locomotives with as many 
um, locomotives is they have the idea for putting on the tech tree and with the cost of them, you know, money is definitely going to be, <laughs> definitely going to be a thing because it's, you're going to be able to blow through a lot of money pretty fast on some of those, um, the price is definitely higher. Or at least from the look of things at least at this point so <laughs> uh, hopefully we'll always keep our money piles with us uh, until that point so we can uh, pick up some of the new locomotives right away instead of having to you know re-earn twenty thousand dollars or something in this game doesn't come super fast so you gotta remember we're on old school money days <clears throat> making 12 bucks a day I mean <laughs> not but you know it's the idea behind it <clears throat> at $12 a day two grand is a long way out So we should have one more, maybe two more switches, to be honest, that we got to dish. I was about to be like, what is that? <laughs> yeah, that's just a wood train. Sitting right where it should be. That's the Great Northern, I think. Oh, oh. oh. gonna make it to the switch before the train does. Stop, 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 stop. Heh. <laughs> Wish we got it stopped in time. Flip. That one's good. Might have one more probably pull it into the station because that's probably set up for running oil. <laughs> At least that's my guess. Being that's what we have been running. But I like to keep the oil supply up out here. I don't really ever want to run out out of oil in the big drum. So that does mean periodically we have to run some of these other loads out here. All right. Let me out of the locomotive. Having not great luck with that today. But um, it means periodically we just have to run some of these other loads to uh, keep it going. No way I don't end up having to do, you know, I try to spread them out so I don't have to do 40 loads to one industry, which, you know, who's to say that's the good idea or not, but I guess I get, I like to go different places rather than the same place all the time, so, or for, you know, days in a row, I try to head at least in a different direction. I mean, you definitely have to run loads all over, so it's not like that's that's a problem, but, you know, you, you could spend a lot of time trying to fill some of these if you really felt like uh, totally filling them out, so. That I don't try to do, I guess, too much, though at this point I would like to um, start backfilling it all and see what we can do so spreading out loads but we got a lot of them to deliver hey what's your deal go ahead yeah Got all of those or not? 
Oh, see, we are getting low on crude oil. We're down to 128. So we definitely need some of these loads. And now we're going to need some wood. So, you know, plenty more to do. But we're going to have to keep this one going because we definitely don't want to run out of crude oil. That is uh, not going to work out for the big picture. So there we are steel pipe to the oil field and i think we'll call that one an episode thank you all for tuning in remember if you get a chance and you can like share subscribe subscriptions are free but they sure do help the channel hope you all have a great day